then this is a quick road test video a little bit later in the day than normal so it might be a little bit dark and grainy i do apologize uh, this is for a honda crv 2.2 ex automatic diesel the car is registered ak62 ull and mileage is 69,993 miles the reason we do these videos is very simple indeed we basically just want people who are looking at our cars and our adverts to actually see those cars actually in operation and it's because we know to our cost how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in the description and photos provided only to get there and drive it and find out it's got a fundamental issue which is immediately obvious as soon as you drive the car so that's why we do it it's also done on these very quiet country roads close to our premises and uh, the reason for that is it actually forms part of the road test that any prospective buyer would go on and so hopefully then would be representative of what you feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car the car itself it's been very very well looked after and it feels it straight away it's obviously a lovely specification car as you'll know from the advert and the walk around section um, engine starts absolutely instantly of course and settles to completely smooth and even idle no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car side that is from a, a low fuel light currently obviously more fuel will soon extinguish that um, and temperature gauge running at a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a honda car and run up to full operating temperature as this one currently is the engines are simply brilliant um, it's a lovely lovely smooth diesel engine quiet in operation pulls willingly through the whole of the rev range not just a small part of it as so many diesels seem to do where they sort of go like stink and then just die away this one has a really broad rev band and usable one as well but it also remains smooth and civilized through all of it and that's particularly important when you've got an automatic gearbox because not every automatic works that well with all um, with diesel engines and that's because of the peaky nature of some of them in all honesty so the gearboxes can't work out which gear to be and they kind of hunt up and down whereas this one is just very very civilized indeed they are cam chain driven engines no cam belts on these honda cars so no big big service looming on them engine then feeds through into the gearbox of the vehicle automatic gearbox and again like the engine has a reputation for being incredibly tough and reliable over very very high mileages um, having said that, notwithstanding reputation, you should still check obviously when it's cold and hot if possible. Just make sure when you select from neutral into uh, drive or reverse, there isn't any great delays or thunks in engagement, uh, nor should the gear changes be anything other than very smooth indeed, as these certainly are They're wonderfully smooth, almost the point you could hardly feel them. Steering of the vehicle, really nicely done on the CRVs. It's got a lovely natural weighting to it, even though it is electric power steering. Um, makes the car feel lovely and solid and secure on the road. Um, some cars are over light, which makes them feel very sort of nervous and bob about. Uh, but this, you know, it's very accurate for this type of vehicle. It follows faithfully. Tracks dead straight. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit chassis of the vehicle again what i'm looking for on road test is basically when you go over bumps like the one i'm about to go over now it's the biggest one on test drive just there which is why i always pick it um there shouldn't be any kind of secondary noises any sort of nasty rattles or knocks coming from underneath the car and there's nothing at all it's exactly as it should be it also gives really good body control through corners like that one which or any radius of corner or tightness of corner um yeah very composed car and that's again it's quite a difficult thing to achieve with a high up vehicle but Honda you know the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world and it's easy to see why because they just hit the sweet spot with it um, handles really nicely body controls really good but it still offers a very comfortable and beautifully damped ride just gonna go give the brakes a bit of a shove when I get to this uh, turn in a second just to check those out I know they're good underneath, we've done the mechanical checks and service already, but uh, I'm just going to live it a little bit later than normal. Give a nice push hard. It's really good brake pedal on the vehicle. Very confidence inspiring. Gives a uh, 
no sort of vibrations or pulsing coming back through the brake pedal at all, which there shouldn't be, of course, and there isn't on this car. And that's something particularly important on automatics where the brakes have to do a bit more of the work than on the manual car, driven correctly. Um, looking around inside the car, first things first, build quality. Always go on about it on these CRVs, and this is no different to any because they are beautifully put together cars. Not a squeak, not a rattle, nothing from the interior of the car. Absolutely beautifully, beautifully put together. And it's real build quality because manufacturers give their cars to these motoring magazines who, you know, I must admit, because they keep saying the same thing every time, you do wonder how impartial they are because build quality isn't just about how they feel when they're new because most cars are actually put together pretty well these days. Even manufacturers in the past who used to be ridiculed for it. It's not that, it's how they last over long periods of time. And I always think sort of between five and 15 years, five and 10 years certainly, um, is a test for any vehicle, especially one that's got to be predominantly a family car. And this, it, it just beautifully made, far better made in the real world than the vast majority of its competition. Um, also a lovely place to sit and drive a car. Um, dashboard's simple, easy to use sat nav is working perfectly air conditioning is absolutely ice cold in the car um, all the switch gears of the very highest quality as well um, every button press got that kind of light nice sort of rubbery click click action to it um, which you just know is going to feel good in many years to come uh, dashboard simple easy to to use so it's getting really dark now i do apologize it's suddenly got black as the ace of spades out there um, steering wheel looks and feels absolutely as new in hand but it's a lovely you know although it's a very highly equipped dashboard it's a very very simple dashboard to come to terms with and to learn um, and to use on a regular basis it just doesn't phase in any way it's all very logical indeed it also gives you wonderful visibility out of the car great forward and back sideways and huge uh, wing mirrors to sort of help you uh, maneuver the car on top of the parking sensors and parking camera of course these are four-wheel drive vehicles, albeit there are no buttons to press for four-wheel drive or anything to activate because basically um, Honda realised very quickly that you know, the majority of its customers will be driving in conditions as I am now, as wet and as horrible as it is, it certainly doesn't need four-wheel drive. Um, so basically it does it for you. If it senses the front wheel starting to slip, and because obviously it runs in front-wheel drive, which is the most efficient way to pull a car along um, it'll automatically bring in the rear wheels to give you four-wheel drive and um, the beauty of it is because it's not been used 99% of the time it's not chewing up your tires as quickly or putting as much mechanical stress to the vehicle or using much fuel because of the frictional losses um, and also its lack of use means it's incredibly reliable um, we've been selling them for well over two decades with using this type of system and never so much as put a spanner on the thousands that we've sold. Uh, so it's very, very good indeed. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, um, first of all, apologize because it is getting dark now. Um, I don't normally like to do it quite as late as this, but it's also the overhead conditions have made it much darker than it should be. Um, the car drives absolutely perfectly. We've actually got, I've got one myself, so I know exactly how they're meant to drive, but it's driven thousands over the years. Um, and if there was something amiss that it would you know, show up, it, 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 I'd, I'd know straight away, but this drives absolutely beautifully. As always though, if you've got any questions about the car, don't hesitate, do give us a call.